Hello Zebra Herd, welcome back to Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Today, our goal is to head back into Area Zero once again, this time in search of Maridon. Now, obviously we have Maridon already, but if we go back to Area Zero, apparently there's a way to catch them so that we can actually use them in battle. That's what we're going to be trying to figure out in today's episode. So we'll go to the Zero Gate and hopefully we can just go back to Area Zero. We haven't been there since we beat the main game, so I'm really curious to see what this might unfold into. So here we are, the Zero Gate, the Great Crater of Paldea. Are we allowed just to go back inside? I guess so. This time we won't have our friends here to help us out, so it might make it a bit more intense. Where would you like to go? Okay, so we can go basically anywhere. Let's try research station number four. I figure we'll explore more of area zero throughout today's episode as well, just sort of what we have time to do, but I think research station number four is where I wanna start. If we wanna go from ride on straight away, but that's just if, you know, if my memory is serving me correctly. I guess I'll have to wait and see. Yeah, this seems pretty familiar. Now there's a lot of Pokemon out here. Most of them we have caught, like Lamette and the evolution of it and Iron Bundle. There's some of the other, you know, uh, robot kind of Pokemon we want to catch soon. What about this big crystal? <laughs> pretty cool, pretty cool. And if I see anything new, I'll definitely go for it, but I guess, I don't know where exactly. I'm just going to guess somewhere around here. It's where we'd find Maridon, right? Whoa, there's something up there. Hold on, I wanna go see what that is. Some kind of TM. So let's hop on to this building. We can manage it. And let's see what, what TM is waiting for us here. This is Trick Room. The user creates a bizarre area in which solar Pokemon do something. Interesting. Whoa, what about this down here? I think this might be one of the Pokemon we've already caught. Oh, it is, it is. This is uh, Iron Drugulus. All right then. So, Nothing new around here. So let's just head back inside the building if it lets us. Was it this building? I can't quite remember. Oh, you know what? It was up that way. You can find so many kind of cool Pokemon here, even if we have caught them. It's just sort of fun to see Oh, here you are. Whoa, you're just sort of chilling out here. Okay. Can I battle you? Can we just walk up to talk to you? Hi. Oh, man. So it's Maridon, just like the one that we have by our side at all times, but this one we can battle and potentially catch. So obviously what I wanna do with this one is to keep it nice and simple. Whoa, the wild turned something. I don't know what that said. Uh, if we want to, you know, it says that we've already caught it, but technically like I feel like we haven't, but that is why we have a master ball, right? So that hopefully we can catch Maridon that way, but I figure we might as well try to catch it normally first and see how much damage we can do to it. So if I could do something that's you know not very effective. Let's see, would this work? Yeah, okay, that's actually really good. I wanna see if we can catch it normally before we go for something crazy like a Master Ball. The longer we hold on to that, I'm sure the more useful it'll be, right? So, ooh, that does hurt a lot though. Maridon's not gonna be an easy catch no matter what. So let's use the flower trick against you. And there we go, now you're in the yellow. So this is where we could switch over to another Pokemon if we wanted to. Oh, and they flinch, so really good opportunity for us to do that. So we switch over to our Pokemon and go over to Oink alone. But yeah, this is something, you know, I've been wanting to do, a lot of you have been requesting is that we go back to Area Zero and catch Maridon. So I'm glad that we're here. Okay, so they're using Electro Drip this time. That might hurt. Oh, it definitely does. So we're almost knocked out here, but as long as we can just use Yawn. Oh, they're gonna be able to attack twice from that. I can't believe, it. that's weird. All right, well, I guess we can't do that too much, but what we could do is maybe just switch over to um, Palmont and just nuzzle you. It's not very effective, but if it can still get a paralyzation, that, that could still be something, you know? So we might wanna try that, if we can actually get the uh, chance to attack. Wanmaridon must recharge. Palmont's gonna use Nuzzle. Not very effective, but does it paralyze? It doesn't. Okay, so instead of doing any of that then, as they're using Electro Drift, that won't do too much damage to us. Maybe this is our opportunity. I think what we're gonna do, first things first, use Revival Blessing and apply that back to Oink Lung. Right over here. It's revived and ready to fight again. It's always good to see. And like I said, I want to be very careful with what we use here, but maybe now's a good time to just throw out some Ultra Balls. 
If we need to, I'll use the Master Ball, but I just really wanna see what we can accomplish here because we get a critical throw! Oh man, so we Kama Raiden. That's great. That's a bunch of experience for everybody too, so really, really cool. I don't know if we've ever read this um, Pokedex entry, so I wanna write it here. Number 400, Maraiden, um, the Paradox Pokemon, an electric dragon type ultimate mode. Some of it's sort of covered up. This seems to be the Iron Serpent mentioned in an old book. The Iron Serpent is said to have turned the land to ash with its lightning. Very cool. So we'll send it to a box for now, but how cool is that that we were able to catch the legendary Pokemon right in? Something's happening. Uh, What was that about? I mean, I guess the rage from it being caught or something like that? I'm not quite sure. Obviously there's not too much else we can do here. It doesn't look like we can get into the building where we actually fought um, the professor and stuff like that, which is a bit odd. But hey, that was still quite the experience. I'm glad we could do that. Now, is there any other Pokemon around here that we've yet to catch? I think for most of them, we have like we got Organical, we have Gibble. But I definitely want to look around Area Zero as much as we can in today's episode. At least have some fun battling some of the Pokemon and stuff. Even though some of our Pokemon are actually pretty beat up. And is there any way I could quick travel from here? I mean, I guess I could maybe fly to the. Yeah, the, the original gate. And then I sort of want to start over and look around from the very beginning. Um, at the least, I don't think there's any, gonna be any terror raids. We can run around and throw our Pokemon out and at least train them up a bit more. Cause there's gotta be at least a couple more of the more robotic Pokemon we've yet to catch, right? I'd think so. Okay, so we're at the first research station. I just used the bed to rest up so our full team should be ready to go. And this is where we can just look around. I don't think there's any kind of terror raids around here, but we can always just look to the sky if there's anything interesting glimmering around. Then I guess that sort of answers our, our question. But you know, at the least we have Pokemon like this, which even if we have fought before, who's our lowest level Pokemon right now? I guess there's sort of a tie between Meowskarada and Oink alone. So we could just throw Meowskarada out there and just start training up that way while we maybe run around try to get some other stuff. It'd be fun to go into a battle, you know, with our legendary Pokemon that we've caught these last few episodes. So I might do that soon. Um. But there's more things that uh, we can battle here, especially since it sounded like we got a level up for somebody. This is Venomoth, which we already have. And I think we have Lycanroc. I don't know if we have this form of Lycanroc, but I don't know if that matters to me too much right now. Oh geez, <laughs> they're trying to bump into me, but luckily Meowskarat is dealing with them. We are getting really close to leveling up with Link alone as well. So, oh, we're getting somewhere. What was that? Okay, I already have it. So yeah, I guess that's sort of what I want to focus on in today's episode is Finding new stuff, I just don't know what our chances are. Iron Moth, here we go! This is something new. I don't know if we've seen you before. Maybe I have seen you and just didn't have the chance to catch it. It's definitely like a, um, I forget what it's called, but it's the metal version of a Pokemon we've already caught. So let's use a quick ball really fast and see if that maybe makes a difference here. Come on, can we get a quick catch? No, we can't. So, Iron Moth might put up a bit of a problem for us. We'll, we'll keep going. If we could just use not very effective moves, uh oh, this might be too strong, now that I think about it. I'm a little worried. Oh, it's not, perfect, because that's gonna be a critical hit technically, so if we can throw another one out like that, it's gonna use Sludge Wave against us, which will certainly hurt. Uh oh, poor Masquerade is gonna be uh, poisoned from that one. I might just wanna throw out one more flower trick. That should definitely get you in the yellow, but I don't know if they'll make it. Okay, we should. Come on, come on, one more flower trick is all we need from you. There we go, no, it was too much! How did it do so much more damage out time than last time? I have no clue, that was sort of silly. But I mean, I guess we you know, battled it once, so it's technically an entry in our Pokedex in some way, but I definitely need to find it again and catch it. But, oh, here's another one. Okay, so let's go for this. I'm just going to, once again, sneak up behind it. Hopefully this time getting a quick ball catch. Come on, we caught it off guard, so it definitely gives us a chance just to uh, throw a quick ball. Oh, and there's another thing over there. I don't think we have that one either. Come on, come on, come on. No, come on, that is ridiculous. So it was cut off guard and can't move, but we're unfortunately about to lose Meowskarada. Yeah, we definitely don't have that other robot Pokemon in the background. So we're finding more of these things, which is so exciting. Let's choose our next Pokemon. I definitely want to do Oink alone so that we can at least put you to sleep. Come on, once we do that, We'll see what else we want to do, but he's yawn. Gonna take a couple of turns before they're actually knocked out, but 
we're using Discharge against us, which doesn't do too much damage at all. This is where I'm a little bit worried the Headbutt will do too much, but it's just normally effective, so here's hoping it won't be a one hit. It will be, because it's a, why, why was it a critical? Why was it a critical? <laughs> You're kidding me. All right, well that's very silly. I might, um, real quick, just make you the lead Pokemon and try for Iron Thorns. Now this one, we also haven't caught. Let's throw a Quick Ball, come on. Quick Ball's gotta work eventually, right? Maybe because we got that critical throw against Maraida and the game wants us to make wants to make us work for it. But we do get this one, Iron Thorns was caught. So at least one of these robot Pokemon from the future is working for us a bit more. So this is number 387 Iron Thorns, the Paradox Pokemon, a rock electric type. Some of its notable features match those of an object named within a certain expedition journal as Iron Thorns. Very cool. So we're gonna send you to our boxes for now. And as you can see, that goes right there. So we still need to catch a good couple of them that have just been giving us issues, but more of these guys are popping up now that I've caught one. So that's pretty cool, I guess. Is there any more of the the other one, here it is, here it is. So, Iron Moth again. I gotta go for you, right here. We'll catch you off guard, just get that quick ball catch, it's all we need. I'm glad these are sort of popping up consistently though. That means, you know, if we make more mistakes, hopefully we'll just have more chances later on. Come on, quick ball, don't fail me now. That, ah, this thing just refuses to be caught. So as long as we don't, Critical, I think it'll be enough that you'll be in low health. No, it's just, I guess it's just too much damage. Oh well. I guess maybe our next chance, as we see another one over here, is to try, uh, I can't believe we're throwing quick balls at this many of them. There's another one off there, and we're still just not able to catch it. With this kind of like level disparity, you would think so. You'd think that'd make it easier, but it doesn't. Come on, quick ball, do your thing. Finally, there we go. All I was asking for, Iron Moth was caught. Whoa, okay. Looks a little weird, but hey, we get a level up for Palmon and get the Pokedex entry for number 386, Iron Moth, the Paradox Pokemon. Fire Poison type, no re records exist of this species being caught. Data is lacking, but the Pokemon's traits match up with an object described in an old book. Very cool. Add that there, sent to our boxes. We're getting a bit closer, so we need Iron Hands and Iron Treads, and guess what we're standing right next to? Iron Hands, so I didn't realize we hadn't caught this one. Let's go for it here. We've seen quite a few of them. You can see two more just waddling around in the distance, so let's go for it. Throw a quick bomb, can I get it? Here's open. Nope, gonna jump right out of that one. So this is where we can maybe fight around a little bit. It's super effective with that. Oh, and it paralyzes us. Not what we wanna see. If I could just go with a yawn for now. It's gonna be able to attack twice here, jeez. Pretty crazy. There we go. That'll make you a bit frowsy. I might be able to attack this one more time. Maybe while it is, you know, if that's gonna happen, let's just do an Ultra Ball and see if we get lucky. Chances are low, but it's still technically possible. Okay, not really working. So it's starting to charge power up. Maybe I should just attack normally then? Cause it's about to fall asleep, here it is. I'm just a little bit worried that it'll be too powerful. So maybe just another Ultra Ball? If it's sleeping, you never know, this could work. Come on. Got it, okay, there we go, good enough. Iron Hands was caught. Very glad to see that one. So, number 385, I think? Oh, and I think Talonflame wants to learn to move Brave Bird. I didn't know they could learn moves this late. Let's see this one, then. So what is Brave Bird? Brave Bird is a flying type move. The user tucks in its wings and charges at a low altitude. This also damages the user quite a lot. Maybe we'll put that over Fly, because I never use Fly. So, we'll forget Fly and learn Brave Bird instead. That'll be cool. Another thing I wanna do is in the distance up there, you can sort of see these satellite things. I don't know if we've been up to those. So that has me really curious to see what's going on with those things. Um, by the way, number 3D4, Iron Hands, a Paradox Pokemon, is a fighting electric type. This Pokemon shares many similarities with Iron Hands, an object mentioned in a certain expedition journal. Almost 900 pounds, wow. 
be really glad that we're starting to clear some of these up. We're looking for the iron treads next. I don't know if we'll get so lucky with that one, but you can see some other Pokemon that we've already caught. So before we get to climbing up to some of those satellites, because I'm really curious about that, I do want to heal up our team again, just at the little bad, but we have Raichu, right? We do have Raichu. All right, so we're back to it. See, I'm very confused by those, because I always, I had thought when we were first exploring around that there were like these buildings here, but they definitely can't be. So I figure we should just try to get over to them. If we find new Pokemon along the way too, that's great. The first one I see is right over there. So let's just try to rush over to it. Because obviously we're very focused on our main mission and sort of talking to all the different characters and stuff when we were last here. What about you? Uh, do I have you caught? I don't know if it's gonna show me Corviknight. We do have Corviknight. I remember that being a pain though. Plenty of familiar Pokemon though that we've now caught. So maybe just throwing out our own to deal with it would be great. I don't know if these things count as legendaries. I'm pretty sure they don't. And it should be up this waterfall. Are we even allowed to climb that high though? I'm not sure. I would think so. Like what's stopping us from just climbing out of the crater itself? Here we go, almost there. So what is going on with these satellites up here? This, the, there's gotta be some cool stuff waiting for us, right? Right over there. And ooh, we got some Floatzel, some Golducks. Ducks. Not that we haven't seen before, but it's neat to see it for sure. It's just like a weird little reservoir of water. Not really anything to be done around here. Not even any Pokemon spawning in, so that's definitely odd. But I'd imagine you'd just be able to climb out of the crater, but I don't know if the game lets us. Let's check out this satellite right here. What is the deal with this? Can there be anything done with this, or is it just more for show? <laughs> so far, it doesn't look like it can really do anything. Huh, okay. That's a little bit of a letdown. With them just sort of sitting up there, you'd think they would sort of have some kind of function. I guess not. I'll go up to another one just in case, before we give in and do other things. And hopefully we can pass a new Pokemon or two. That'd be cool. But hey, we've already caught, what, four Pokemon in today's episode? So we're doing great. Our track record is pretty good. If we stop running out, or if we start running out of things to do here in Area Zero, we could always go back up to the surface and start uh, doing some more terror raids and stuff like that. I mean, we did what we were after pretty quickly in today's episode. We caught Moridon like straight away. And then we got a couple of the other super secret Pokemon from the future. Yeah, I'm not seeing much. It seems like these areas are just sort of here. They don't really accomplish much. This one looks a lot more dilapidated, I suppose. And sometimes there's like an occasional Pokeball with stuff inside of it, but not like some kind of hidden secret or anything like that. Let's go deeper down for a bit. But now that we are like sort of exploring where it does seem like we find a lot of the same Pokemon popping up. Uh-oh. Oh, well now I'm Eternal Clyde again, there it goes. Okay, let's get right down this way. Oh, there's another TM. I wouldn't mind grabbing that. I've seen a lot of the same Pokemon now, so a little bit of a letdown there. We will grab this nasty plot, that's always a cool one. Do we have Chansey? We do have Chansey. We have so many Pokemon at this point, it's hard to keep track of which ones we do and don't have, because there's just hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of them. What about you guys? It's always Floet that I see. I never see a Flabebe, which is so weird, because I think Flo Flabebe evolves into Floet, so just like, where am I supposed to find that? If it's not just sort of floating around anywhere. Maybe it can't be found in this version. Maybe it's only Scarlet. That's sort of the one thing about Pokemon I never enjoy too much, is the regional things like that. I mean, it makes sense with how the games are designed, but it's just, I don't know, it feels like a a bit more of a chore to me than I'd appreciate. Anyways, we'll grab this one TM right here, but honestly, I don't really see too much more for us to do here in Area Zero. If there's anything else you guys wanna see me accomplish, for sure let me know, but I guess for now, since we have a lot of time left in today's episode and we're seeing a lot of the same Pokemon over and over, um, we'll give it like an extra moment. But if not, we're gonna go straight back to the surface, try some other stuff out. There's just gotta be some cool things to do, even if it's just getting Terror Raid's done. We can sometimes find some new Pokemon that way as well. At least some Pokemon that are harder to find. Let's see one more Pokeball over here. I'll grab that, there's gonna be a Bug Terror Shard. 
yeah, I'm not seeing much, so we'll leave it like that. Like I said, if there's anything you guys wanna see me do specifically in Era Zero, you guys can always let me know. But in the meantime, there's a lot of potential terror raids here. Let's go here to Cascarafa. Maybe I'll start with this fire one, since that is our destination, and we'll just head over and start tackling these. Okay, so we're making our way over for right now. I did wanna see, We I wanna make sure we start checking out these Tauros little groups, because sometimes we can find sort of Tauros variants that we've never seen before. There's, I definitely know like a fire and a water one. Hmm. And then there's little, you know, things like this over here. What could this one be? Because it's not a terror raid. This is just a, uh, some kind of trash-sized Pokemon. It is an Altaria, which is cool, but we already have one. So I think I'll leave that and we'll just try to make our way over to this one terror raid we've been trying to get to this whole time. Should just be right up here. Is there another trainer up here? There is, maybe we'll take them on on the way back. Because here's the terror raid. I don't wanna, you know, dawdle along too much with what we set out to do. So let's try this out. Which Pokemon will it be? I think that's the thing that involves in Lucario. I don't know if we have that one. Riolu, I think? Um, well, I didn't choose the right Pokemon. I meant to click the other button, but it's only three star. I think we can maybe still handle this because ground type moves are good against fire, right? We can at least try it and see. But with it being three star, it typically isn't too huge of a challenge that we can't handle it. So let's find out together. It's definitely the thing that evolves the Lucario, which I said, I'm pretty sure his name real Lou. We got a ferocious looking team. It's so cute though, I love it. Riolu, okay, we were right. So, let's try this out. I don't know if this is gonna be super effective or not. With Earth Power coming in, oh my gosh, it is. That's gonna do a ton of damage to them. So if we could just attack one more time, I think we'll be in the clear just to win this one straight away. But hey, I don't mind the easier ones. Oh man, okay, never mind. His health is already gone. So we'll just throw a Pokeball at it and see if we can't get the catch. I don't mind easier ones if we get new Pokemon out of it. I just can't quite remember if we've ever gotten this one. So here goes my Pokeball. All right then, so there is our Fire one done, registered, so this is new. Okay, uh, number 163, Riolu, the emanation Pokemon is a fighting type. It has a peculiar power of being able to see emotions, such as joy and rage in the form of waves. Ooh, cool, so we'll send them to our box for now, but that should be another Pokedex entry then. Really exciting to see it. We actually don't have Lucario either, so if we can level that up at some point, we could just evolve it into Lucario. We won't even need to catch that Pokemon, so that'd be fantastic. So in the meantime, yeah, there's that one trainer over there that I guess we could battle real quick, but then after, what I wanna do, oh, there's a Persian? I might wanna look around for that a little bit, but then we can maybe go for this ice one and see what that's all about, because that's just right down there. Okay, first you looking for research participants. Here I am. Aha, my hypothesis was correct. People in this region talk to each other to start battles. Yes, they do. Pretty sure you could've just asked someone. We're joined by Felipe the Scientist. And they have Goldman. So, I think, yeah, we'll just do Earth Power. They're only level 17. This is, you know, vastly outmatched. But we'll get rid of them pretty quick then. So there's Goldman gone. They have one more Pokemon they might want to throw out here. Magnemite. Not even gonna bother switching. If we just use like a normal type move against them, it should be fine. Yeah, I'm happy with, you know, the Pokedex entry productivity we've gotten done in today's episode. At least four or five editions. Oh, I had Sturdy, so I was able to endure the hit. That just sort of eats up our time a little. Oh no, now we're paralyzed. Come on, if we could just land one more, that's all I need. There we go, we're fine. This battle's over. Okay, so Magnemite's gonna faint, and we defeated the scientist with that. He defeated Felipe the Scientist. They're very impressed. I guess it's Paldean culture to approach other trainers and talk to them to engage in battles. It definitely is. I mean, I feel like that's culture all over the world from what we've seen from the Pokemon games. Did you know that there are regions where you have to battle if you make eye contact? Ah, okay, so yeah, I guess it is technically sort of different for other regions in that way. Not just talking, you need to just make eye contact and that's enough to set some people off into a battle. I sort of prefer the talking a bit more than the eye contact. But, just trying to slowly make my way down until we find a Persian, which we already have actually. Oh, never mind. Okay, I didn't think we did. Get a full restore from that. But I wanna head over here. 
and maybe climb up this way. Just get more Pokeball stuff. Got it. There's stuff everywhere. Whoa, okay. Hold on. Let me make sure we're grabbing all this and bunch of free stuff. We got Soda Pop, Ether. There's so many. Full Restore, another Full Restore. Who's dropping all their stuff? Full Heals, that's great. Um, oh, there's another one. Oh, there's a Paralyzed Heal too. So make our way into the South Desert. We get two Max Revives. That's quite the reward. Is there anything new out here? We got an Orthworm chilling out, which is always cool to see, but we have one, we have one. Okay, so let's try out this Ice Terrorade. Ooh, okay, I think this is Basque Legion, which we have already, but you know what? Fire is always good against Ice. Let's switch over to Talonflame and really show them what's what. Okay, so we're here battling Barascuda. So I don't know if, Barascuda, yeah, okay, no, actually, no, I do this one. I don't think we have it, we might. We, we definitely have Basque Legion. I've seen this one before, but I, I don't remember with this game or a previous Pokemon game. Sometimes they sort of blend together. Either way, just using our fire type moves. Should be fine. Ooh, that was not too bad. So, you know, they're halfway down already. As long as the rest of our team can sort of finish them up here, we'll be fine. Because as you can see, that doesn't do too much damage to us. So even with the four star, we're, we're handling it pretty well. They will get their shield up, unfortunately. Our teammates just weren't able to do enough, but we can finish it off with all of our other moves, right? We're gonna nullify the changes and everything. We have so much time now, I'm barely worried about it. So, hit you again. And this might be enough just to break the shield. It is, so what amount of their health is even there? It is, they just fainted straight away. So, I guess that's another one done at the least, you know? <laughs> Very odd for sure. Whoa. So if we didn't have you before, we'll definitely get you now. Let's catch Barraskeeda. All right then, so number 137, Barraskeeda is registered. The skewer Pokemon is a water type. It swims at speeds of over 100 knots and battles fiercely with pods of finizen over prey. Whoa, so definitely glad to have that. We're gonna send it to our boxes for now. And as you can see, boom, it goes right there. So we got Aracuda, but not Barraskeeda. So now that we have that, that's a great one to get out of the way. Our Pokedex is booming in today's episode. We've gotten quite a lot of them, but there's still so many more left to go, right? So I'll have to keep looking around, and speaking of which, what do we want to take on now? I do see another ice one over here. Hmm. You know what, let's go for it. We'll, we'll do this ice one, and then maybe I'll make my way over here and do this water one. Just try to pick out the ones I know that we can do pretty efficiently. Ooh, so it looks like we have a TM waiting for us over here, the Eerie Impulse. Very nice, and we have Numal. But we're almost at this. Little ice terror raid. Oh wait, 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 I want that, I want that. Got it, full restore. We get more items here than we ever really need, it seems, just by adventuring around. But let's see what this ice one is gonna be. It will be, oh, this thing, Bronzong, right? We already do have Bronzong. This is a five-star battle. This might not be so easy, but we'll give it a try. I'll switch over to Talonflame, and I'll give it the strongest fight I can manage. Here's hoping it works out. All right, so here is Bronzong. We have our strong team waiting for it, though. I think that's what it's called, right, Bronzong? And we've, we've certainly caught this one. I remember running into it previously, but we'll use Heat Wave because it's super effective. Sealing is also, but you know, this actually has some typing advantage for us, so using the Heat Wave. Oh man, that does not do much. Wow, that did next to nothing. I'm so surprised. Okay, what happened to it being super effective? Uh, I mean, as long as it makes some kind of progress, I guess it's fine. Oh man, this thing is gonna be tough. This actually will not be easy at all, but we'll do what we can just to keep ahead of it. It really depends on what kind of moves it has. So far it's using Payback, which just isn't doing too much. Now it's Poison too, so as long as all of us as a team can just keep chipping away at it like that, we'll be able to stay ahead of the time. but I guess we'll see. Flash Cannon's coming in, and that might be a bit scarier. Actually, it's not, so it seems like at the least Bronzong's moves here won't be a huge issue for us. I do wanna sort of try, at the least, how much damage is Steeling going to do? Will that do more damage, less? It looks like a little less, so it's super effective, but still not enough. We get some health back by the Shell Bell, though, so whatever damage Bronzong's really doing to us, I'm not too concerned about. Still some of your Terra Orb Charge. I wonder if Parastalizing would still be worth it if we um, aren't even gonna be using flying-type moves. 
Hard to say. Either way, we're still damaging it down. We're ahead of the time meter, so you know, that is something. All the other teammates are getting knocked out pretty quick now. That is where I'm a bit concerned. Less terrasalize, we'll just use heat wave. We'll see how it goes, we'll see how it goes. And well, we'll just give this one one try. If it's not gonna work this first time, I don't think it's gonna work any added times on top of this, so we'll just give it one attempt. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, we'll head over to some other ones. I mean, luckily this is one of the Pokemon we do have already, so the pressure of actually beating it isn't as high for me. Okay, here we come. That is maybe helping. I don't know if it's making any difference, but I'm just gonna keep going. Using payback against us, which I don't think did as much damage as we got back from the Shell Bell. The only concern I have now is that the, the Heat Wave is running out of power points. Geez, they haven't even set the shield yet. That's gonna make it a whole layer of difficulty. Ooh, okay, that one was a bit more of a problem. And now here's the shield. Because I think it takes even less damage when the shield is up, right? Guess we'll see. We're just gonna remove some negative effects from itself. I don't think the boys are always doing much, but now it's paralyzed. Okay, so it bounces out a little. Let's use Heat Wave. Yeah, it's doing next to nothing. I don't think we can beat this one. Maybe we just save time and we just quit out of this one. I can't believe it's doing so little damage with it being fire versus ice, you know? Uh, yeah, we're gonna get knocked out there. So that's gonna eat up a bunch of time. I think this one is just about over because of all that. And we can try it, but... Time's only getting lower, unfortunately. Okay, Town Flames back out. Everybody's throwing everything they have, but it's just not quite enough. It's just such a tiny little bit of energy just getting removed there. So you know what, I think we'll just back out here. It just doesn't seem to be worth the work too much. I don't know, terror raids are just sort of weird like that. Sometimes they just do not work. So we'll leave this one, we'll just run. Yep, we'll give up on this battle. And we'll try a terror raid somewhere else, I guess. Okay, so it looks like we got our prize here from the Pokemon League, a Focus Sash. Ooh, that's good. The holder has full HP and it is hit with a move that should knock it out. It will endure with one HP, but only once. So that's actually really useful. Glad to have that one. We might wanna equip that on a Pokemon soon then. Yeah, I got that for completing everything here. So I think with that one trainer we took on earlier in today's episode was sort of the difference maker for that one. Anyways, what else do we wanna do here? We're still trying to find, there's a Terror Raid over this way that's a water type that I've been wanting to do. So hopefully we can run into that as soon as possible. Let me grab this little Pokeball right here for Let's Me. There we go, burn, heal, let's get up here. You can see it's just waiting for us at the tippity top. All right, we've technically arrived right here. We're sort of under it, the Asado Desert again. Huh, I think this might be Cub Chew. And if that's the case, it's a water type one. Let's use uh, Yashkarada this time. It's a little bit lower of a level than Palmont, so we'll give it a try. It's a three star, so it should be pretty easy to finish off. All right, here we go. So I'm pretty sure this is Cub Chew, which once again, if it is, which it is, um, not really too much of a pressure to win this one because we already have it. But with Cub Chew being only a three star, it should be quite easy. Maybe even a one hit situation if we throw out the flower trick after everybody finishes rattling each other. Uh, let's use flower trick right here. Super effective against you and Come on. Boom, there we go, the one hit takedown. That's beautiful, so that'll be at the least some extra experience candy for us. Always happy to see that. Okay, so there's our Cub Chew caught. Send that to our box. And I definitely need to look through my Pokedex soon and just sort of see which Pokemon have I caught that might just need to be evolved. Because we have so much experience candy, that might be an easy way to sort of get it done. I do see, you know, something in the distance here, so I just wanna march straight over to it and see if it's something we might wanna take on. And if we find, wait a minute, uh, we haven't caught you, right? Uh, what? Oh, is this just the, I don't think we can catch this one. I was gonna say, I didn't know if we could find this out here. How'd we call you? Iron Treads, no, it's, it's, it's Iron Treads. I don't know why we couldn't, that was so weird. If I can catch you though, that'd be a big deal. This is the one that we haven't caught in, um, in Area Zero. Unfortunately, not gonna work like that too much. We can use Knock Off on us. Let's see what we can do here as we get buffeted by the sandstorm. This would just be a perfect happenstance. We're using Yawn right now. 
That should make you pretty sleepy. We have a not very effective normal type move that hopefully will at least do enough to lower them a bit. Let's see, I don't wanna use a super effective move against them. Okay, that's perfect, actually. That's what I wanna see. They flinch and they couldn't move. So if we could do that one more time, maybe. Maybe two more times, we'll see. Let's just throw this out for now. Perfect, that's exactly where we wanna be. If we throw an Ultra Ball here, I'm pretty sure we can catch Iron Trots. I didn't know we could catch it here. I thought that once we defeated this, um, like the actual, what was it, the, the Titan Pokemon, that it was just done for, it's gone, but I guess not. Come on, come on, can we get it? No way is it jumping out when it's snoozing. That is ridiculous. Should be waking up soon though, so we should be ready for that, but come on, one more Ultra Ball should do the trick, right? Ultra Ball, here we come. This has gotta be a catch. There it is, so we caught another futuristic Pokemon, this time Iron Treads. I'm so happy we got it. Okay, so that's yeah, great. Let's take a look at this. Number 382, Iron Treads, the Paradox Pokemon is a ground steel type. Sightings of this Pokemon have occurred in recent years. It resembles a mysterious object described in an old expedition journal. That is so cool. So I'm just really glad to have that there are Pokemon all around us. Um, and let's see for ourselves. That goes, boom, right there. So really, really great stuff. And you guys are looking for a fight that I'm not interested in fighting. I already have a rough let. I don't need another. But in the meantime, let's see what other things are around here. Like right over this way, we do have some kind of terrestrialized Pokemon. What is it? It's gone. Huh, that's weird. I guess it just sort of timed out. Get a nest ball though. And there are some trainers out here, believe it or not. I don't really need, need to do them, I don't think. Oh, and you, I think that's there's something we need to evolve with Roller, sort of similar to Palmo, where we need to run around with it a bunch. Which we already have one, so as long as I can, at some point. And same thing with you, I need to evolve the uh, Bramblin the same way. As long as we can do that eventually. I think that maybe in a future episode, maybe next episode, we'll focus a bit more on evolving the Pokemon we currently have. Just doing whatever we need to do to get that done. Um, in the meantime, though, we still have other things to do here. Like grabbing that, we got the Baton Pass. I don't think there's anything down there I really want too much. So I might turn around and work towards getting to wherever the Terror Raid was. It was right over this way. Oh, I did not even see you. You blended in so well. Once again, since we already have Silicobra caught, I don't want to worry about fighting it. Just trying to make the most of our time. So, way over here. We do have the evolution of Silicobra. We don't. Okay, here's our chance then. Never mind. Uh, I threw it and it just dug away at that same exact moment. What if I hide over here? You think it'll pop back up? Here's hoping. I'll wait for a moment, but. Not looking likely. So the evolution to Silly Cobra, I guess, is one we'll have to look out for too. Get a Star Piece, that's some good money. Yeah, it's not popping out, back up. That's such a shame, I didn't even realize. I should've just ran straight into it. Oh well. It can pop up once, it can pop up again. So here's hoping. I have Sand Dial. I'll throw out Oink alone to deal with a few more of you. I'm not really seeing a ton here that I really need to leap for. This is a poison type, so really, I don't know if I'm super happy about that typing. We'll see what silhouette it is. What kind of Pokemon is winning for us here? I actually don't think we have this one. I can't tell from here, but it's either we have this one or we're trying to get it and this is the evolution of it, but it's five star and I don't have anything super effective that much against poison, so I think the chances of me actually getting that are pretty low. I think I'll leave it, I think I'll leave it. Let's try to find one more terror that I think I can actually take on solo. Cause there's gotta be something somewhere. I'm thinking, we do have you, don't we? We do. Whenever we see those kind of outbreaks too, that's also another good thing to focus on, which, are there any cool outbreaks going on of Pokemon I might need? So far not looking like it. We have you, right, I think? Oh, so hard to keep up with them all. Um. Okay, instead of worrying about that then, we'll go here, we'll, we have a uh, flying type tarot read with this one. We can handle that pretty easily just by um, having Palma go out. 
Okay, I think we're yep, just about to make it. I'll grab a little something over here. And here we go, we've arrived at our destination. There's also a TM waiting for us over that way. And what do you know, another bronze song. So if we really needed to catch one, I guess we could do so here. Luckily, we don't really need to catch one. Let's just jump up this side, grab whatever this is, full restore. And then right up here, body press, cool. Okay, so let's see what the deal is with this final terror raid we're gonna do. This one's a five star, but is that a Bombardier? It might be a Bombardier, which we've definitely already gotten before, but it's five star, I, I might as well try with Palmont. If this isn't gonna work here, then, you know, I guess we'll need like level 99 Pokemon to take on five star challenges. Now's a good time to figure out. All right, so it is gonna be a Bombardier, which is another Pokemon we've already had. But we'll start with Discharge. And we're just gonna keep hitting it with this stuff as much as we can until we can just terrestrialize and then hit it some more. So let's see how much damage. It's just not enough. It's crazy how much damage we need to get rid of five stars. The jump between four star and five star is crazy. With that being said, a lot of our teammates here, we got a really lucky sort of generation of teammates because we got an, another electric type with us. So it still might be possible. Palma was subjected to torment, but I don't really know what that does. So can't cannot use the same attack two times in a row because of torment. Huh, that does sort of put a wrench in some plants, but it's okay, we'll use, you know, uh, our other type of move, Nuzzle. It doesn't do super ton, but like, we're, we have a good head start here. They stole some of our Terra Orb Charge, which is sort of a pain, but we will just hit you with a Discharge. I don't know how long the torment lasts, but we got you a lot more down. So if you can just get one of the teammates to be a beneficial typing, it really makes such a huge difference. Okay, let's go for it again. Can we use this charge? We can't. So I think we'll save our Terrastalize until we can hit it with a big move again. It'd be cool if Terrastalizing would clear it of such effects. I don't think it will though, unfortunately. So it still puts it in a bit, a bit of a bad uh, situation. We avoid an attack there. Now we Terrastalize and discharge again. The only thing I don't like so much is that Terrastalizing itself eats up a bunch of time. Quite a few precious seconds here are being wasted. So I hope that we actually get them back with the terrestrialized damage. You would think so. I guess we'll see in just a moment. It sort of seems like it. That was super effective. It was good damage. Um, they're gonna use Brave Bird. Oh my. Ooh, that does hurt though, quite a lot. But it was hurt by the recoil too, just ba by barely any amount. And here comes the shield. It's where things can get complicated. It's gonna remove all the negative effects from itself, but the rest of our team is attacking. I still can't use that because of Torment. What a pain. We use Nuzzle. Well, oh, they're gonna use Sucker Punch on us. Ah, so we only got one move out of our uh, Terrastalize. I really don't know if we'll be able to do this, but the time is starting to catch up a little bit. So after the, whoa, it just jumped down a bunch. That's gotta be a glitch. Did you guys see that the time just jumped off a huge chunk? And we were still ahead of the timer before, but now we're not. That's so lame. I thought there's some, sometimes like weird glitches like that in the game. Okay, it looks like the, the uh, torment's over, so that's good. So maybe if we can all just attack it in, ta in tandem and really damage it down here, we'll be fine. But we'll just have to wait and see as everybody's trying their own moves here. I just gotta keep using Discharge and see if we can't break the shield in time. It's back to being paralyzed, but that often doesn't do much. Okay, luckily if they keep using a Rock Slide on me, I'm happy about that. Come on team, we can do this. Just destroy that shield a little bit more, but just with that huge chunk of time. No, wait, 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 what? That's not what I wanted to use. Why did it switch which move was default? I did not want to use Revival Blessing. <laughs> what? Why did it do that? Okay, now it's not moving because of Paralyzation, but I need time. More time, not more moves. Yeah, I don't know why it switched. Sometimes it just does that. That's another weird glitch thing it does. Come on, we are almost there, but it's gonna be so, so close to using Brave Bird. That might do some good damage to us. Oh, that could be a problem. That could be a huge problem. But it was damaged by the recoil again. I don't know if we're gonna do this in time. I'm gonna keep trying. Ooh, 
looks like a lot of our teammates here are sort of knocked out and beat up. We got pretty close to it, but like I said, I just don't think it's doable with computer teammates. So, I guess we won't. All right, well that'll be it for that one. Gotta just avoid the five stars. I'm like, I would love to you know, team up with people. I just don't simply have the time to organize that kind of thing, unfortunately. Um, usually a lot of the times, the only time I have to play the game is in recording it, and it's just whenever I have the time to do that, you know, if that makes sense. But we weren't quite able to make it through this one. We were blown out of the cavern. I think we'll leave it there. But honestly, I can't complain, because it wasn't a Pokemon we don't already have, and we caught a ton of new Pokemon in today's episode. I think like seven, right? We, we had at least four or five of the new metallic Pokemon, and then a few just out in the wild. So I think a good seven or so. Um, the new Pokemon out to our Pokedex. So I'm definitely pleased about that, and if we take a look right over here, uh, whichever button it is to actually, what button is it to seed the Pokedex? Okay, it's over here, um, I think. Is it not? Is it this one? It's this one. Okay, so you can see we got one, two, or one here. This is the second, third, fourth, and then, you know, it goes on beyond that, but let's see. 291 caught, so we're really getting there. Some of them obviously we can't get in this version exactly, but that's where we might want to start doing trading and stuff. I don't know exactly how that works. I've never really traded too much in, in, in Pokemon games. Suncurrent is what we're looking for. And I guess like the evolution of Scattleburg or Scattlebug? Scatterbug, yeah. Um, there's a little evolution, things like that we need to keep working on. So hopefully we can get that figured out soon. Maybe that's what we'll do a little bit more next episode because, you know, we calm ride in today's episode. I thought that would take a little bit more work, but we got it done super duper quickly. So yeah, with that being said, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.